What's up guys, JPAT Diecast here with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today we're throwing it back again to Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2005 Menards Chevrolet Monte Carlo. They drove in the Bush Series for DEI. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. One of my all-time favorite Dale Earnhardt Jr. paint schemes. And um, fairly inaccurate, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Or kind of, sort of inaccurate, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, he ran this right. He ran this die cat, or this die cast. He ran this car at the uh, Summer Daytona Bush Series race, and I think the Charlotte Fall race, one of the Charlotte Bush races. And as far as I know, that's it. I could be wrong. I just know this particular, the 2005 version of this car, the number 81 version, uh, did not fare super well. And again, we'll get into that here in a little bit. But um, on the front, we have the number 81. We got Monte Carlo. Got Menards, just Menards on the hood. Some people say this color is pink. Um, I say this is orange. The people, Dale Earnhardt Jr. himself says this is a pink car, and that actually drives me crazy. This is day glow orange, but who knows? Maybe I am wrong, and it actually is a, it looks a lot more orange on camera. I, I can kind of see it being pink. No, I can't. It's not pink. It's orange. I'll, I'll take that to my deathbed. Got the number 81 on the roof. This is when roof flaps started becoming standard on ARCs. The peak of diecast. We got Menards good on the deck lid. Deck lid opens. There's our fuel cell. We got Menards 81 on both tail lights and the DEI logo. We got the Chevrolet bow tie. On the left side, we have the number 81, our 2005 Bush Series contingencies. We have Turtle Wax, Snap On, Menards, Moen, JM, K Welder, or K. The K, I never know what it is. Miller Welder, uh, Safety Clean, Napa. On the C post, we have Peak. On the B post, we have American Flag, Cheryl Williams, Champion Spark Plugs, and Cincinnati. On the name rail, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. Signature, uh, North Carolina flag, and the Dale Earnhardt Incorporated logo. And on the right side, it's pretty much the same as the left. Just a simple, good old prime DEI diecast with the number 81. Uh, the one inaccuracy of this is actually, again, I don't know what it is with the um, <laughs> with action and this number 81. They never got the font quite right. If you look at actual reference pictures of this car, and also, not this, not just this one, but the um, KFC, the Taco Bell car, the even the... Uh, even the Menards Bristol win, they, they just could not get it right. It was like the 8 was a little bit... It was a little bit bigger, had a less blocking. I don't know. I, I can't describe it. They The only die cast they got it right on was the Oreo Ritz car they drove in 2005 at the season opener. That's the only one of these 81 Dale Jr. cars that they got it correct. Which it's... <laughs> it's really crazy to me. It's really annoying because it wasn't like a new thing. It was just, I don't know, I guess it was just something they had trouble doing. Anyway, here's the box itself. We have the number 81. This was the first year we went away from sleeves. But we still had our custom boxes for the die cast. Dale Hurt Jr. Menards. Menards, 81 Dale Hurt Jr. They made a total of 9,248 of these. Menards, Dale Hurt Jr. The legal stuff on the bottom. 2005 in general was just a crap year for Dell Jr. Like I said, this one ran... I believe it wrecked at Charlotte. I know it blew an engine at the Daytona race. And I wish this was also accurate because I think the chassis was painted red. From what I can tell in the reference pictures. That would have been cool. Um... At least the interior of the chassis was red, I think. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. This is also an easy car to find. This isn't any, any anything rare. It's just one of my favorite cars. 
And it was one of my dad's favorites. We just we loved our loud and proud bright colors. And I still love the Menards colors to this day. So that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I thank you for watching. You can follow me on my Instagram at jpat_diecast2. And we'll see you on the next review. Peace out, guys.